The overall goal of this procedure is to use autonomously bioluminescent human cells for continuous and real-time cytotoxicity monitoring. This is accomplished by first obtaining a sufficient number of actively growing autobioluminescent cells. In the second step, equal numbers of cells are seeded into individual wells of a multi-well plate. Next, the cells are treated with a compound of interest over a range of concentrations. In the final step, the bioluminescent signal is measured using a compatible instrument. Ultimately, the bioluminescent output dynamics can be used to demonstrate the effect of the test compound on the metabolic activity of the cells. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like those using luciferase isolated from insects or some marine species, is that no sample destruction or substrate addition is required to produce a detectable signal. Demonstrating the procedure will be James Webb, an undergraduate student from my laboratory. After growing the bioluminescent cells of interest to 80% confluence in the appropriate culture medium, wash the cell culture in PBS with gentle swirling. Next, trypsinize the cells at 37 degrees Celsius until the cells have detached from the flask. Then collect the resuspended cells in PBS, transfer them into a clean centrifuge tube, and determine the number of cells. After counting, centrifuge the cell suspension for 5 minutes at 300 Gs at room temperature and resuspend the pellet in fresh, pre-warmed medium. Then seed equal numbers of cells into individual wells of an